friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another episode of our Decades Challenge Let's Play. It is 1922 and the excitement is reaching a fever pitch in our roaring 20s age. Grab your top hats and your pearls, let's see what mischief awaits our sims in this electrifying episode of our Decades Challenge Legacy. It seems we're all early risers this morning. It is just now, just about 4.30 a.m on this beautiful morning of 1922 and John and William are both awake and I thought I told him not to cook but now he's gonna cook all right oh it's James's birthday and it's Winterfest wow what a day um I guess today we should get Mary to cook um a birthday cake since I almost forgot William's birthday <laughs> last episode um maybe it's better to go ahead and get a cake done sooner rather than later it is winter we could make a winter cake for winterfest and james's birthday what is this parental guidance inspired by a strong parental presence oh that's right because of mary's new like matriarch trait that's pretty cool i feel like we should work on everybody's aspirations today well also try to get everybody to have a good winter fest oh and they fixed that bug so now finally everybody sees all of the interactions for the holiday stuff oh we should get our winter fest tree out of the household inventory where did we get all this stuff sports posters decorative plates oh diplomas this fashion poster, I guess, can go in Ruth's room. No, that's weird. I'm selling it. The diplomas I'm not going to put up because we have too many. Decorative plates. I can put one in the kitchen. We don't need two, though. I'll sell the other one. It has to be in the corner. Does it not slot to... Okay, it unfortunately does not slot to a corner. I actually don't want to sell it. And this sports poster, I'm also selling. Okay. Oh no, we don't have a Winterfest tree? I must have gotten rid of it. Let's do... Oh, I do like the one that's already decorated. Oh, so is that, though. That's very pretty. No, I'm gonna go with this one. I feel like they're not gonna be able to walk around that, but... Mm, just gonna see what happens. Well, actually, if we put it there, it might be fine. Alright, can we get everybody to light the tree? I think everybody's kind of busy, but... It would be fun. I could have everybody stop what they're doing. Oh, everyone's cold. Oh, there's our beautiful tree. Beautiful. Oh, and they all want to attend a holiday ceremony. Yeah, you know what? They might as well. Go ahead. Go attend a holiday ceremony. I forget where that is. No. Here it is. Let's send them all to the holiday ceremony. Oh, I didn't think our maid would come today because it's Winterfest. But here she is. It's Winterfest and I'm pretty sure it's a blizzard. Yep. They get brutal winters. Alright. We are back from holiday... Wait. What is it called? Holiday ceremony. I almost said holiday fest. Alright. Let's... Um... You know what? I guess there's no time like the present to age up James. So. Here we go, James. Make a wish. They're all gonna run inside because it's a blizzard. Here we go. Happy birthday to James. Happy birthday to James. Oh, Margaret's calling to chat. <laughs> okay. Ta-da! James is an art lover, a kleptomaniac, and... Oh my god, evil. <laughs> What? He's evil just like Helen? Oh, I like really didn't think that about James, but I guess that's what we're working with. So, oh man. Uh, okay. Let's give him an aspiration. And you know what? I think this is a sign that he needs the... Um, does he want to be a famous criminal? I don't know about that. Pranks and mayhem? 
Maybe he does want to be a criminal. Ugh. I feel like I usually steer towards the path of, like, having my Sims really well behaved and having really great traits. But when you randomize them and they get evil. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to do public enemy. Oh, I don't want him to be that mean. Okay, I need a second to think about this. Okay, after thinking on it. I have decided to fully embrace that he wants to be a public enemy. Uh, and he graduated with honors, so. Wow. Perform 10 mean or mischievous interactions and be disliked by two sims. Okay, I'm not ready to start any work on that. I'm just gonna move on to a, someone else, I think, for right now. You know what? Let's invite some people over for the holiday. Let's get all our siblings back for Winterfest. Oh, look, 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 look. Helen is pregnant. That means she'll probably give birth this episode. Oh, a little Dorothy. I think she actually ages up into a kid soon. I'll have to give her a makeover when that happens. Um, Let's get a grand meal cooked since we have a lot of people coming over. Oh my gosh, we can propose to Terry. I think I might have to do that this, maybe today, maybe Winterfest. Even though in real life, I really don't like that idea. Like, I would not want to be proposed to, like, on Christmas or anything. Um, but in The Sims, it seems kind of cute. You know what? If William, like, does some interactions with the toddlers, can he... Can he get up his parenting skill so that in the future when he has kids, he's already better at it? <laughs> oh, look at Helen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I forgot about um, Ruth and Terry. I got distracted. You know what? Let's go for it. Propose to, propose to him. <gasps> oh, wait, she didn't do it. Okay, try again in their dirty basement. <laughs> oh, hooray, he said yes. All right, they are engaged. That's exciting. Maybe we can get them married this episode. Is William sleeping? He is, he's napping, interesting. I really don't want James to do any mean interactions with his siblings. Or with his family at all. Like, I just... If he's gonna do mean interactions, it's gotta be... Random Sims. Oh, interesting. William actually has good compatibility... With Nora. What is she wearing? What? Okay, I don't know why she's wearing this. Um, can I change it, please? Put your cold weather stuff on. Okay. Okay. So he actually has good compatibility with Nora um, and bad compatibility with Emily. And Emily is who we were originally thinking he was going to end up with. But maybe he's going to end up with Nora. Or maybe he'll end up with somebody else entirely and we'll forget the Whitmore girls. Who knows? I don't know yet. All right. There's our beautiful turkey dinner. You know what? Let's call everybody to the meal. Call to grand meal. Come and get it, our lovely turkey dinner. Oh, well, everyone's leaving, but that's okay. We got some good um, family time in. <gasps> We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? <gasps> Anna wants to have another baby? Absolutely. Yes, oh, that's exciting. Oh, Santa's here. Hello, Santa. Let's get some gifts from Santa. All right, we'll go oldest to youngest. John will ask first. I don't know that he got a present, but it counted it. Oh, is he getting it now? No, I don't think he actually got a present, but it ticked it off. So, I guess on that note, he can go to the bathroom, take a bath, and then go to bed. 
Mary is still writing her book, so let's go with Ruth next. All right, is she going to get a present? Oh! Well, they're not anywhere near each other, but thanks. We got... What did we get? A Would You Believe Dragon. Okay. I think I'll also send her to take a bath. William, when you are done with that, go ask for a present. Oh, and you didn't eat? Also eat something. What did William get? Oh, he didn't like it? <gasps> William got an awful present from Father Winter. Apparently he was on the naughty list. William should be nicer to other Sims. He got a future cube. Oh my god. I can't believe William was on the naughty list. I didn't even know that was a possibility in this game. <gasps> Wow. Wow. All right. Well, what about James? William got... What? What did he get? Celium. I can't believe William was on the naughty list. That's crazy. Okay. I think it's just Mary left. So let's introduce yourself to Father Winter. And also ask him for a present. Did we get anything? The interaction happened. I just haven't. It hasn't come up with what we got. Oh, uh, one Bridgeport postcard. Oh, goodbye, Father Winter. Wow. I guess she got it just in time. All right, James, when you're done with your bath, please go to sleep. William. You can also go to sleep. Um, Mary needs to, you know what, let's clean that toilet and then you can use it. And then you can go to sleep. So everybody is queued up to go to sleep. So with that, I will catch you all in the morning. All right, good morning, everybody. I think it's about time enters a career. And after taking some time to think about it and getting some much appreciated input from my boyfriend, we are going to have him join the law career. Okay, he is now a legal. S Wait, should William abandon? Should William Abden get a jump start and accept the work from home stuff? Sure. Um, he is now a legal secretary at Bagley and Buckley LLP, and he starts work tomorrow at 8 a.m. Oh, we have to attend a deposition. A attend a deposition. Um, all right, I'm going to send him off to do that then. All right. Oh, he made 119 simoleons from that. All right, well, I guess he's going to be off for a little while. Um, I've got John down here making some nectar. I think today, well, I, I, his queue is filled up, so... Mary's asleep, but she could wake up. And we should have her finish that second book today, I think. Resume her cookbook. James just woke up. He's really hungry, but it looks like he's getting... No, you don't need to grab that. Maybe clean up these dishes. He's got to be disliked by two sims and do meat. Oh, wait! Pause in everything! Helen went into labor! Hold off on all of our plans. Let's go have a baby. Okay, here we are. And we do already have a bassinet, so let's have a baby. Helen is having a baby. All right. So what I've been doing is picking names from the most popular baby names list of each decade and then just going down the list and picking. And that would be Betty. Welcome to the world, little Betty. They are now parents, and George does not like the dick. Okay, now little baby Betty. But we don't have any finally- Oh, we do finally have some finely aged ones. Oh, hooray. Goodness, I have so many plans for each of these sims. Get him to sell the nectar. I want her to- You know what, I'm gonna get rid of these eggs the books away. I'm just going to clean out everybody's inventory because everybody's got too much stuff. The produce from everybody's inventory. In okay, it sounds like somebody just passed out. I spent a lot of time in this sim day. 
I actually wonder if you make more selling it to the flower stall than the produce stall. I make 5,968 simoleons. And not that I think it's actually going to make a difference, but I, and I'm gonna try to haggle, but I don't expect that to work either. Go over to the flower stall so we can sell all the flowers. But they're the same price as they were at the other stand. All right, flowers in general are just worth more, so I'm not selling as many, but I'm still selling 4,950 simoleons worth. So we made quite a bit of money on this trip to buy some seeds and I'm gonna maybe... All right, now we can head home. All right, let's get those seeds planted that we bought. Oh, and our other stuff put away. Okay, so next, let's get John to collect collect all finely aged nectar bottles. I don't know how many we have. Probably not very many. Oh, um, Mary reached gardening level 10. All right, let's see how many finely aged we have. Six, and they are worth so much money. So, um, but to make it, we can plan a stay over, which is how I cheated it last time. I know it's kind of cheating, but it's also kind of not cheating. I don't know. I just, I'm just doing it for the aspiration. All right, let's sell some nectar to Roberto Crinkletop. Oh my goodness, they are worth so much. We're making 23,000 simoleons just selling six bottles. We will need to have him come again though because it didn't make us enough. Get back to work on our cookbook. I think I'm gonna wrap up everybody's needs and send them to bed. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Remember how I just said I was sending them all to bed and I would catch you all in the morning? Well, if you take a look at what time it is now, it is 5.49 p.m. And do you know why that is? <laughs> because I just played this full day without recording. I just forgot to press start recording. <laughs> You didn't miss much. Mary is in the kitchen making a wedding cake. Ruth is in the kitchen cooking up some lobster tortellini because we are going to have them, um, well, we're gonna have Ruth's wedding this evening. So they're making food for the wedding. The only other things that happened today were William had his first day of work, which was exciting, and James, um, has been doing mischievous and mean interactions, which I don't enjoy very much because I don't like it when the Sims are mean to each other. And that's really all that was missed. It was kind of a uneventful day, but I cannot believe I did that. I just glanced over um, at my second monitor to see how the video was going and saw that I wasn't recording. So anyway, Maybe we could have him wind down with some classical music because he's very tense. Oh, where did she put that wedding cake? Okay, here it is. Oh, look how pretty it is. That's beautiful. Chuck that in their inventory. And Ruth is almost done with the lobster. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize James's job was at night. So he's gonna miss the wedding, which is sad. As soon as the lobster tortellini is done, we are going to start the wedding. All right, the lobster tortellini is done. Let's have a wedding. All right, we're doing a wedding ceremony. We've got all of our guests. All right, we're gonna do just like Helen's. We're gonna just go for it. We're gonna walk down the aisle, have our first dance, have a toast, speeches, throw rice, exchange vows, cut the cake, dance, feast, and a spousal kiss. We are really just going for it. And here we go. Oh, look at how beautiful. Here she is in her wedding dress. Okay, we've got a lot to accomplish, so let's get started. Please take your seats. Oh, look at how sweet. Oh, they look so good. Okay. Oh, James. We're going to have James go to work, even though he's going to miss the wedding festivities. Oh, yay. They exchanged their vows. Should we just do the spousal kiss now? Mm. 
spousal kiss. Oh, I love the little birds. Okay. Let's put out, let's do the cake next. Let's cut the cake with Terry. I really like this cake. Oh, we cut the cake. Well, it doesn't seem to have actually worked. Okay, now it did. Now, oh, now we can feed it to him. Oh, all right. We don't have to do that. Everyone can just eat the cake. There's Dorothy looking cute. And let's put out the tortellini as well. Oh, wait, what? The walk down the aisle didn't count. Uh, why not? <laughs> oh, walk down the aisle. I guess that's why. All right, well, we'll do it now, even though that technically already happened. Don't mind Ruth just walking down the aisle again. There she goes. Okay, well, now it worked, so that's all we needed. Should we do some toasts? Give a toast. Mary's gonna give a toast. A toast to the newlyweds, Ruth and Terry. Aww. All right, let's have our first dance. Have first dance with Terry. I think John's gonna give a speech too. Oh, they're having their first dance. Oh, it glitched out. Just kidding. Well, John can give a speech. I don't know who he's giving a speech to, but he is giving a speech. And just like that, we have completed all of the ceremony activities. Hooray! Rice goes everywhere. <laughs> Everybody's throwing the rice. And on that note, we can wrap up this beautiful ceremony. Just married. Would you like to move in together? Yes. Let's get Terry to move. I'm hopeful. Okay, let's get Terry to move into the Abden house and then we'll get them a new house. You know what? Let's get them enough money to like buy a house. We'll transfer 50000 over. <laughs> and then I'll transfer it out when Ruth and Terry move. Oh, William completed the aspiration. All right. Well, um, let's, you know what? Let's get them to move now. Okay, so we've got Ruth and Terry. And let's get that money over this way. We are definitely not living in Tartosa. We're keeping everybody in Henford on Bagley for now. All right, now time to hop into the gallery to get a 1920s house. Oh, this house is really cute. Yeah, I like this enough to have it be their house. Okay, I actually changed my mind and went with this house from the gallery instead. Um, this one's super cute. So, you know what we typically do? We typically get them married, move them out, try for a baby and go back to the other house <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do why can't we try for a baby uh hello why can't they try for a baby uh well i'm confused oh because maybe because they haven't had their first kiss yet jeez <gasps> oh my goodness all right now can they yes now they can. Oh my goodness, I can't believe they had never had their first kiss. That's wild. This kitchen is super cute. I like that a lot. I didn't have all the packs from this house, so some of the stuff rearranged, but we're not going to be playing in this house anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, now it's time to head back over to the Abden household. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, I'm back in uh, the Abden house and everybody is freezing to death and their needs are horrendous. But none of them are moving. Like I told them all to go inside. Okay, there we go. We're thawing out a bit. All right, go to sleep. Everybody's needs are really awful. 
Wow. <laughs> We've got four Sims. John, Mary, and the two boys. Oh, one Mary's resolution could be to write a book. Since she's been chugging away at that anyway. Um, I guess we'll have James get promoted. Him want to get promoted. All right, William, time for you to set a resolution. You know what? You can also ooh, get a significant other. Yeah. Yeah, you can aim to get a significant other. And John, complete an aspiration milestone. We're going to do that nectar one. So everybody has a different resolution. It's kind of cool. Oh, we've got some finely aged bottles. Any in here? Not yet. Oh, and William needs a new aspiration. Okay, since he is a, an, he loves the outdoors, I'm gonna give him the outdoor enthusiast aspiration for now. And we'll see how that goes. We do have a bottle of nectar in our inventory still, and this says drink, dance, and play music. So, you know, I might just go ahead and have him, like everybody can drink a glass of this nectar for the new year. Like if we just pour out the servings. Oh, I didn't even realize it's energy nectar. That's okay. Um, you can drink a glass of energy nectar. All right. Cheers to us. Oh, he's going to read his book, drink his nectar. Love that. And our energy is going to go up. Okay. So when everybody is done with their things, everybody can have a glass today. Cheers, John. Enjoy your nectar. How many finely aged bottles did we get? Just two. Okay, I'll wait till the next episode, I think, to sell anything then. But he does want to make more nectar, so we could do that. All right, James is finally awake. What does he need to do for his job? Oh, Mary finished her book. So she finished her aspiration. Okay, sell to publisher. Yep, let's sell that book to the publisher. Why can't we sell our cookbook to the publisher? Can we self-publish it? Interesting. Oh, Mary's most recent book. Wait, the most recent book that Mary wrote has been nominated for an award. That's cool. Okay, I can't figure out why William's energy is going down so much faster than everybody else's. He's not sick. I don't I don't know, but he's exhausted. Okay. I don't know why he's exhausted, but he's exhausted, so I'm gonna send him to bed. I mean I guess it's also already ten. So I could probably go ahead and start wrapping up everybody's needs and sending them off to bed. So I guess that's what I'll do. Um, and that means we are going to wrap up this episode right here. And that's a wrap, folks. Another whirlwind adventure through the 1920s comes to a close on our Sims 4 Decades Challenge Legacy. But fear not, because the fun never stops around here. Join us next time as we continue to dance our way through the decades one fabulous era at a time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a new episode, and stay up to date on all of the mischief and mayhem ahead. Until next time, keep on swinging, happy simming, bye!